Hi there, Adam Gray again. And today I'm thinking about MCAT science because of this toaster. You see, this toaster, just like all other appliances, is part of a circuit. The circuit gets power from this plug, which is providing alternating current, meaning the electrons move back and forth really, really quickly. And those electrons move easily through the wire inside this cord, but they have more trouble moving through the toaster itself. That's because the toaster is designed as a resistor, meaning the electrons have to try really hard because it is resisting the movement of those electrons. All that extra effort to move through the toaster produces excess heat, according according to the second law of thermodynamics, and entropy. That heat is then transferred from the coils of the toaster into the air next to it, and then from the air into, well, whatever might be in the toaster. That's called heat transfer through conduction. But the toaster is also doing heat transfer through another way, which is called radiation. We can see that because it is literally producing red light. The coils are glowing in the visible spectrum of electromagnetic radiation. Now, it's also giving off other radiation and, for instance, the infrared wavelengths, but that, combined with the conduction, is what heats up whatever you've got in the slots of the toaster. So, next time you are cooking something through a toaster or otherwise, or eating cooked food, maybe it's a chance for you to review your MCAT content. As always, thanks for watching, good luck on your tests, and keep thinking about science.